This just in from the second floor of Loomis. The administration has reached a compromise on the budget. Here's department head Dale Van Harlingen with the press release. My fellow physicists, I'm happy to talk to you again about the cookie controversy. I believe that the half cookie compromise that's been proposed is a good start to weaning our graduate students off of that departmental aid. They can't be so dependent on departmental handouts. They should learn to buy cookies for themselves, or better yet, make them and bring them to me. Besides, we are doing them a service by restricting their cookie consumption. Now we bring you Associate Head for Graduate Programs, Lance Cooper, with a response from the graduate student's perspective. The half cookie compromise will serve as a temporary solution, but I want every student to know that we will not give up this fight. In this time of need, what we need is not cutbacks, but stimulus. And come January, I will fight to bring back one cookie per person and maybe even increase it to two. We live in America where more is better. More cookies for everyone. The department going back online, the vast majority of graduate students have headed back to work. Here is some footage of the consequences of the shutdown on their research. There's no pressure. We're out of helium. I'm never going to be able to finish my thesis. I'm never going to be able to measure the double impedance of the topological state on, of graphene. triple interference of the down conversion photons. The half cookie compromise is a clear and decisive step. Only time will tell if that step is in the right direction or not. This is Eric Hummeler with your number one source for Illinois physics news. From the bottom of my heart and from everyone here at the LHC, keep it classy, Loomis.